Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another video, man. As you guys can see in front of you today, we finally secured the unlimited reward for season three, 96 overall, pink diamond, Andre Igudala. And I gotta keep it a buck with you guys because I don't like to lie. I would say the grind was super, super hard, but I only grinded up until seven wins in the pink diamond league because I was way too busy last night. My friend TJ actually ended up grinding the 12 and 0 part of the Galaxy Opal tier for me. So I gotta go ahead and show him mad love because because I just didn't feel right saying that I got the card when I know I didn't so I can't say that the grind was super super hard but we are still gonna be answering the question was the card worth the grind now if you guys feel like you cannot get the card because it's too hard go ahead and hit up my boy TJ I'm gonna put his Twitter in the description below make sure you guys go ahead and show him some love man but uh yeah without further ado man we're gonna dive into the stats see what this ego is all about and then hop into unlimited now the main reason I wanted to get this done before today was because i thought we were getting new cards today and since i was on a roll last night i wanted to get iggy before new cards came out because i didn't want to have to sweat while getting you guys a gameplay but anyways 89 offensive overall 99 defense that's insane on the defensive end the stats they're not the worst 89 driving layup 79 draw foul he's got the mid-range of an 84 and a three-pointer of an 86 90 driving dunk as well i like that a lot he's got the ball handling he's definitely got the defense 90 5 perimeter 88 steel you love to see it uh no rebounding solid speed though we're gonna be playing him at the two instead of the small forward so that's not too bad also got an 88 vertical 96 lateral quickness and the mental game is absolutely cracked so looking at the badges here he's got 10 hall of fame badges 23 gold i actually forget how good this card was supposed to be hall of fame catch and shoot pick dodger clamps off ball pest tireless defender trapper fast break finisher showtime downhill clutch shooter those are actually really solid badges and then 23 gold badges on top of it you guys will also see that he's actually got some hot zones around the three-point line and stuff like that gold quick first step green machine hot zone hunter so yeah, on paper, this card actually looks good. The badges, the stats, not too shabby. How good is this card going to be online, though? We're about to find out, man. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into a game and let's see what this Pink Diamond Iggy is all about. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. Today, let's we're debuting it. Andre Igudala. Where is he? I want to start greening jumpers off the bat. I'm not here to play around. Put me in a pick and roll with this man. Commit that screen. Cross it up. Oh, you're gone. I'm pulling. Green. What is going on with my camera there? That is not my camera. I got to change that. Lock it up. That five out is not working here. Good defense there by the boys. Good defense. We clamp up. And Iggy's on the team. Oh, let me blow by. I'm gone to the rim. I try to get a blow by animation. We get the layup to go. I'll take it. I actually kind of like this camera. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. This guy's definitely looking to sweat this game. He's got the full court press going. Let's put him in a pick and roll. Thank you, Iggy. That's all you. Taking off, baby. Let's go. Now, obviously, the biggest thing about Iggy is going to be the defense, but I can't really show off the defense unless he chooses to attack with Eddie Jones. Oh, I'm going all the way to the rim. Oh, you got to catch a body there. All right, let's keep things going here, man. We're not done. Right into that pick and roll, AD. I got you. Now we got him in the post. We got him in the post. This is barbecue chicken. Easy post spin. Kick it out to Iggy, who should have been open. Steph Curry for the mid-range, though. That's a bucket. This camera angle is kind of throwing me off a little bit. I'm going to try to play around with it, though. Get that rebound. There we go. All right, come on. Let's run with it. We're not done. We got Kevin Durant here on the team. Let's go straight into a pick and roll. Is he in a zone? Because if he is, it's GG's. Hit that screen. Thank you. Right to the big man. Drive through and put it down, Wayne. Good def Look at Wayne Embry, bro. An absolute lockdown defender. That fadeaway is not going to bless you. Only I do the fadeaways. Don't say that's a charging foul. Thank you. Is he sitting in a zone? He is sitting in a zone. Honestly, that's fine, though. Iggy, do your thing. Oh! Cole Strasser's looking nasty at this angle. Look at Wayne locking up. Look at Wayne locking up. Whole team is defending. Get that garbage out of here, man. And just like that, guys, it's a one-point game. Oh, he's trying to send a double. Man, this guy's really sweating. Oh, why would you cut, KD? You're open in the corner. 
Give me that. That's a steal. Thank you. Good defense there by Iggy. Let's pass it up. I'm throwing an oop. Why not? To myself. I tried it. That's Steph Curry with that kind of energy. We get the layup to go, though. Come on, man. All right, boys. We are in the second quarter. Iguodala, come get the ball. Let's run a nice little pick and roll here with AD. He's not going to see it coming. Hit that screen. All the way through. Can I draw a foul yet? Yes, we can. And we finally got some free throws. I've been running at the rim just so I can get this free throw animation. And looking at it off the bat, it looks good. It's only an 82, but honestly, that's not bad whatsoever. Again, Iguodala cards every year play so good. Whether he's a budget card or expensive card, he's a bucket. I know this guy wants to run at the rim with Giannis. There we go. Bait that. Oh, that's so baited. We have this man clamped up. We're not scoring much this quarter, but he's not scoring either, okay? You keep running left to right and then get bailed out. All right, makes sense. Straight into a pick and fade here. Hit that. Thank you. AD, catch. Pump fake. LeBron's on the other end. I'm driving straight to the basket. That's an open lane. I gotta take that. Get there. Good defense. No chance that's going down. All right, we gotta turn it up this quarter. This has been a terrible quarter for us. AD, get open. Dimer me mama. Bang. We got ourselves a one-point game here, guys. I'm going straight into that pick and fade. Driving straight to the basket. Thank you very much for that open lane. I'll take it, man. Spread the floor. Iggy, wide open. Step in. Pull up for three. Green. Come on, man. That jumper's fire. It's definitely a lot faster than it was in previous years. Who's he off-balling on? Oh, three-second violation. I'll take a free throw. Thank you. Let's go ahead and let's convert that. Again, the free throw animation's a dub. He's got 15 one and one so far. He's doing his thing. I'm not forcing the ball on him because then it's not really as good of a gameplay. But if he scores, he scores. Like right here. Oh, Durant's open. Pull the midi. Green. Get there. Good defense by KD. No way that's going down. All right. We're in the second half here, boys. Let's keep putting on a show. Pump fake. I can't believe he has Giannis on Andre Iguodala. What did Iguodala do to deserve that kind of treatment? Nothing. Beautiful alley-oop, and we sell it. Can't believe he really put Giannis on Iggy Jab. Spin off it. Get off me. Get off me, Giannis. You cannot hold Iguodala. Let's go to AD first. LeBron's in the post. I think I trust LeBron against Cam Reddish. No? Okay, AD. Pump fake. Blow right by to the basket. Oh, no dunk, but I'll take the layup. Pump fake. Let's go inside to AD. AD, back to KD, pump fake, got him in, stepping back, oh, that was not a good step back, and somehow I greened that, I didn't even see the green there, but I'll take it, I really want to show off Igudala's defense, but this guy's not attacking me with his cam reddish whatsoever, instead, we got you with a pick and roll, and one, yeah, pause on me if you want to, that's still an and one, give the ball to someone Igudala is guarding so I can clamp you up, I'm still gonna clamp you up with Derrick Rose, don't get it twisted, Oh, I jumped way too early there. He's still sold. That works for me. Igudala, coast to coast, run across the baseline, and oh, no. I'm going to try to get Iggy some buckets. He's not really an ISO card, so you run that off-ball deodorant. Dimer me, mama. Bang. All right, boys, we're in the fourth quarter. Igudala so far has put on nothing but a show. Easy crossover to Blake. Dimer me, mama. Bang. Man, the frames are just skipping on this game now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is so bad. I also wish this guy was attacking Iguodala a bit more on offense, but that's fine. That's all pick and roll offense. Free lane for Derrick Rose. Rest in peace, Ibaka. All around, though, as a role player, this Derrick Rose has been very solid. Uh, can we spread the floor a little bit more? Thank you. Iggy, wide open. Bang! Bro, no, nah, that jumper's fire. With Hall of Fame catch and shoot, that jumper is crazy. So I was looking at this guy's username and I was wondering why it looked so familiar. And then I realized this is the guy I played for my Dirk gameplay. Blake Griffin, go ahead, draw the foul, and we got some free throws. But that's the same PSN that I played when I did my Dirk gameplay. So that is one funny thing about PS5. You do run into a lot of the same opponents, but I'm sorry I gotta do you like this twice. But that's just how it goes. Look at this nice mismatch right here for Wayne Embry. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for just getting out of the way. It's probably best for both of us. Give my boy Iggy a nice little iso here. All I gotta do is jab one way. I'm trying to spin. And I do! All the way through! We draw a foul. Even more free throws. But uh, yeah, man. All around, this Iguodala has been an absolute dog. I'm definitely changing the camera angle back to my normal one, though. I can't get used to this. All around, though, I am super happy with this Iggy. He was an absolute dog. I'm gonna go straight to the rim there. Easy bucket. I really wish this guy attacked Iggy more, though, because the best thing about the card is definitely gonna be the defense. And I didn't exactly get any defensive highlights with him because all this guy did was use Monte Ellis and Kevin Durant the whole game. What's a gameplay without a fadeaway? Pump fake. Oh, you're sending way too many doubles and I'm open. Yeah, that's game. All right, get this guy out of here. Shall we get one more bucket for the boys? I think so. Pump fake. Oh, I thought he'd jump at that. Look who's open. Gervinator. Bang! 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and win this game 65 to 45. Igudala and the squad were doing their thing. Let's go ahead, let's check out the box score and let's see how our boy did. All right, and as you guys can see, man, Andre Igudala in 20 minutes had 27 points, two rebounds, five assists, and two steals. Nine for 17 from the field, only one turnover. He was knocking him down from three, four for six, five for six from the free throw line, and all around had a very solid game. Now, would I say this Andre Igudala is worth going 12 and 0 for? Yes, but it really depends on what your team is looking like. For example, if you're more someone like me on the content creator side, who's basically got every card in the game, then Igudala isn't really a must have card for you. If you're more a budget player, obviously you want any good free card you can get, and Igudala is a player that can definitely fit that role now jalen brown who you get for free from limited is nice but igudala is clearly a better card in my opinion he's faster he feels like he's a better defender he feels like he's a better shooter with a faster jumper than that jalen brown so is igudala worth going for whether you're a budget player or not i think he can make a solid spot on any team and for that reason igudala is worth it in my opinion he's nothing like patrick ewing where he's got so many weaknesses to the point where some ruby cards are better than him Igudala is a lockdown defender he's a knockdown shooter with that hall of fame catch and shoot and he will catch the occasional body whether it's on an alley-oop or on a driving dunk also being six foot six being able to play the shooting guard position is a dub all around instead of keeping him at small forward slash power forward which his previous cards did have so uh, with that being said guys i probably give this Igudala a 9 out of 10 only thing stopping him from being a 10 out of 10 is probably the dribbling animations and then some extra badges but other than that Igudala is a solid card if you manage to grind for him you're really not going to regret it man but uh yeah with that being said this is going to be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care